it's Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today what we want to do is we want to do a video taking you through the spectrum of gloves, both short and long. Something we've seen happen more than once is someone will buy a real affordable pair of gloves, say like a $20, $30 pair of short motocross style textile slash synthetic leather gloves and maybe have an accident and expect them to perform much better than they did. So what we want to do is we just kind of want to go through the spectrum that's available out there from, from a good entry level glove, you know, all the way up to, you know, a super high end glove using exotic materials for added comfort and protection. So to begin, let's start off with a very generic, very entry level motocross style glove, textile and synthetic leather palm. I've got uh, a glove here from Alpine Star and a glove here from Technique. They both sell for in the neighborhood of, you know, $29, roughly. Textile outer, some padding, synthetic leather palm. A glove like this is going to be good um, to protect your hand from very light debris coming up from the road, uh, perhaps keep your hand a bit warmer, um, keep you from getting blisters, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's abrasion resistance to be pretty good in the dirt, but when you put something like this down on the road, the reality is the level of protection it offers is going to be, you know, kind of just a bit above not wearing a glove at all. So if your choice is no glove, you know, or something like this, then that would make this a good choice. But what I'm trying to say is don't expect this to protect the same way, you know, a, a more high-end full leather short glove would. Now let's kind of continue, you know, on up the spectrum just a little bit here, if we could, and let's go to... Another glove from Alpine Stars. What we're seeing a lot of manufacturers do now is they're blending textile and leather with some race style protections like a carbon knuckle, some carbon knuckle protectors here. You know, synthetic leather overlapping the real leather in the palm, textile between the fingers. A glove like this, it's reasonable to believe it's going to offer you a better level of protection than that, certainly. So this is going to be a good mix between entry level and high end because it brings some of the features of both together in one, one product. We can step up a little bit from there and we can go with like a speed and strength twist of fate. This is an all leather short glove, okay? Just a little more than a short glove, closer to a three quarter knuckle protector, knuckle protectors here, all leather. You know, this is where you really start to get in the class of this glove is going to offer a fair amount of abrasion and impact resistance if you put it on the ground. Continuing on up the ladder, here is another three-quarter glove from Alpine Stars, all leather. Basically, what you've got here is kind of a GP Plus leather gauntlet glove with a gauntlet cut off, okay? So once again, we're still continuing on up the ladder. From there, we'll go with the RS Tai Chi arm high protection, all leather, some nice carbon pieces, some stuff here that's really going to protect the outer portion of the wrist. And notice the gauntlet's starting to get a little bit longer now, okay? So this is definitely more of a three-quarter glove. Another one from Alpine Star is the S1. Gauntlet has gotten even just a bit longer. Okay, this is, this is literally in between a short glove and a gauntlet glove, and this is a great compromise in our opinion. Your hands are important, very sensitive instruments without a doubt, full leather, lots of protection for the wrist. And let's go ahead and this, is, this would be for short gloves, I think kind of, you know, about to the end of the yellow brick road. This is from Hell. This is the new slide comp. Titanium carbon composite knuckle, stingray protectors, carbon, big patch of stingray there on the palm, kangaroo leather, kangaroo grip leather used in the palm and fingers. Expensive and well worth it because this is an investment in your safety, for sure. Now let's go ahead and let's move on to the gauntlet gloves, okay? Gauntlets aren't an option for everybody riding on the street, and that's why it's nice that the, the short glove has really evolved over the last couple of years. You can go all the way from that textile motocross style entry level glove up to something like the Tai Chi Arm High Protection, the Held Slide Comp, the Alpenstar uh, S1 glove. So lots of choices there, so if you do require a short glove, now you can get short gloves that are going to protect you in the manner that a race glove could, but offer the comfort features that you need for street riding. Now let's move to full gauntlet gloves. Um, obviously, what are we picking up here? More protection in a longer glove. Once again, broad spectrum. You don't typically find textile gauntlet gloves. Most of them are going to be 
leather from top to bottom. You know, our most affordable pair is going to be something Technic has had out for quite a few years, the Chicane Entry Level Gauntlet Glove. It's a nice, well-made, I think it's about a $50 retail price point. Most everyone can afford this. Offers a good measure of protection, double wrap pinky, you know, double layers in the palm. Some protections here for the outside of the wrist. Hard knuckle protector. It's a great place to start, okay? Now, is this going to protect in the same manner as a high-end glove in the gauntlet? The answer to that is no, because once again, you know, we have a difference in quality of material, quality of construction, as you go from this to the high end. Moving on up the ladder, and understand there's many more that are available even from us. What we're just trying to do is just give you an idea of the, the spectrum here and what to expect as you continue up the ladder. <clears throat> Here's a Twist of Fate leather gauntlet glove from Speed and Strength. Nice glove, lined glove. As with the chicane, we still don't have a Kevlar lining here. So really not a racetrack piece, kind of more of a street piece for someone who is, you know, more prone to wear a gauntlet glove, looking for extra protection. All leather, nice glove, it'll be protective. Next step up is going to be our Alpenstar GP Plus. Uh, more protection, hard knuckles, more protectors on the knuckles here. Outside of the palm, double wrap palm protectors here. We still haven't gotten to a Kevlar lining. That's typically to the, to the way higher end for sure. This is a nice glove that can go from the street to the racetrack easily. It can transition between both, not a problem. RS Tai Chi again. This is the GPWRX. This is one of our, our best selling gloves. Very well made, very comfortable, carbon knuckles. Similar to the Alpine Star GP Plus for sure, okay? Once again, we still haven't quite made it to a Kevlar lining. And then we're going to go and finish this with our favorite glove of all time. This is the Held Phantom. This is Kangaroo Outer completely. Uses Stingray hide here in the palm and on these knuckles. Lots of carbon. You'll notice when you see this yellow fiber right here, that's Kevlar. So this is Kevlar line, the whole back of the hand. It's more abrasion resistant in case you do have a crash. Very protective, also very expensive. Many exotic materials, great craftsmanship. This is literally our best selling glove. Brand new from Hell for 2009. They have upped the ante in the, the full gauntlet glove. This is very expensive. Now you're starting to get into something that would cost as much as a reasonable leather jacket. Uh, what do we have here? Tons of stingray hide all over the glove. Kangaroo in and out, titanium knuckle, carbon protector. Of course, Kevlar lined. This is for gloves, kind of the end of the yellow brick road. Best of the best. A glove like this, it's very reasonable to expect protection. Certainly every crash is different onto itself, but this is a very capable offering from Held, as are the Phantoms. So there you go. The idea here is just to, to, to help you choose the right pair of gloves for your application. All gloves are not created equal, and all gloves aren't really made for the same intended purpose. So the first thing you want to do is identify your budget. How much money do I have to spend? And then from there, it's kind of a risk-reward thing. You know, certainly a mesh pair of gloves is going to be very comfortable. It's going to have tons of airflow, keep your hands good and cool. You need to blend the comfort features between the safety features that, that you're comfortable with. So there you go. This is Gloves from Start to Finish from SportbikeTrackGear.com.